That's right. I hope you haven't eaten dinner yet. Because you're in for some murder for dinner. I hope you, you have room. Hope you're not full. Because we're making jokes about eating murder for some kind of meals, apparently. Yes, murder for dinner. I can't believe you guessed it was murder for dinner. When I said we were going to play a game about a mystery, I figured you would guess it was VLR, because that's what you think everything is going to be. And then the title card for Murder for Dinner would pop up and it would be funny. But you actually guessed it was going to be Murder for Dinner. Why would you think it was going to be that? Anyway, Murder for Dinner. We looked at the demo of this a while back. That's right, we were invited to Miss Havisham's for a dinner party. Meeting a variety of, of guests, mysterious guests, full of intrigue. And then Miss Havisham showed up dead. But of course, we did not actually get anywhere in the game. We stopped at the demo time limit. So we're going to complete the mystery in full this time. Yes, Ronaldo the Aging Bachelor, the Duchess Anna Marie, Mr. and Mrs. Lincoln, Major Andrews, Mark Joseph, Dr. and Mrs. Russell. Those are the people. Yep, we have to introduce ourselves to them. Yes, this may actually be a little bit difficult to read on a small screen. You might want to increase the size of it. So... I don't actually know anything about Murder for Dinner, aside from the demo video from a while back. I'm sure that the mystery is... is very deep. Miss Havisham is not around. Yes, and of course we know that the, the main draw of Murder for Dinner is the beautifully rendered models. They're just amazing. We do have to talk to all of them. So let's get up close. We're gonna... I mean, all these people are suspects. So, of course, we do want to get right up in their faces to get an idea of what they're all about. No. None of us are ready. How could you be ready to have Murder for Dinner? Look at those eyes. Are those the eyes of a murderer? They could be. Yep. Not even sure what part of his body we're looking at right now. I think it's an eye. Yes, this is a launch title for the Xbox One. As you can see, uh, these are state-of-the-art next-generation graphics. I'm sorry, I can't actually lend this to anyone. Uh, if I do, you'll have to pay for the game yourself. Yes, Ronaldo with that monocle. How could it be anything except nefarious? And what does that mustache hide on Major Andrews? The mouth of a murderer? It could very well be. What is it like to be inside the head of a potential murderer? As it turns out, there's not too much in there. Yes, everyone has to know that her husband is the doctor. Could he have gone back in time and killed someone then, and then come back? Can never tell what you're in for with a time traveler. And as we remember in the demo video, we went upstairs. Slowly went upstairs. We eventually got up there. The door was locked. We looked up there. And the key was in there. So we went in there and... 
murder most foul? Possibly? We don't know how she died. But it's been a while. So we've just arrived, which means, of course, we're not a suspect. How could we be? She's been dead for hours. So the next thing we had to do was go back downstairs and interrogate the potential suspects. Or maybe they're all in on it. Maybe they all murdered her. I wouldn't be surprised from this crowd. I am stunned. I am just so completely surprised. No, we're not calling the police. We will conduct this mystery, this uh, investigation ourselves. Thinking about her locket at a time like this. I don't think the locket is all that important. But what say the doctor? Mm hmm. But if he is the murderer, wouldn't he not lie about the cause of death? Ah, they go way back with Miss Havisham. Perhaps they murdered her out of an ancient grudge. Maybe having something to do with those scars around her mouth. Hmm. Everyone seems so eager to let the doctor examine her. Now, the only one who was not in that room was Ronaldo. He separated himself from the group, it seems. There he is, in the study. But why would Ronaldo want to take his leave from the group? And why can't I talk to Ronaldo? There, oh. Very exact spot I have to be in to talk to Ronaldo, I guess. I'm just gonna hammer the button until I eventually talk with Ronaldo. I assume that's gonna happen at some point. Uh, th 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 there we go. Hmm, why are you so anxious to see her papers, Ronaldo Chalcroft? What is the game you're playing? He is acting strange in the library. Anything else we can talk with him about? It doesn't seem so. That's the only clue we have right now. It doesn't look like there's actually anything we can look at in the library. Yep, everyone's still here. Is it unwise to take matters into your own hands? Okay, so this is after. The pencil is the dinner killer. Maybe we should try to find a book in the library? Maybe so. Oh, did something say check book? If there was, then I had missed that. Hmm? Who's saying that? You seem to be in a high dudgeon indeed. Oh, Ronaldo, Searching for something. What are you looking for, Ronaldo Chalcroft? <laughs> I do wonder at your snooping. It looks like there's a secret that was held on our over our own head as well. So there was... Oh, search desk. I missed that one. Did anything happen? Okay, there we go. Ah, Ronaldo. Hmm. 
So it looks like Ronaldo and Miss Havisham had something going on. What do you think about that, Ronaldo? If I can talk to Ronaldo? Doesn't seem like I can. What's that book you're looking at, Ronaldo? The Fall of the House of Usher? Is that the only book on here I can look at? Seems so. Anything else on the bookshelf? Hmm. Indeed, this looks like a mystery that only the sharpest of inquisitive minds will be able to solve. Oh, another letter. So it seems that Ronaldo is interested in these letters. I guess we can't actually say anything about him, though. Ronaldo wanted this letter. Are there more? Hmm. Do we need to search for more letters, then? We found one, but it implied that there would be more letters to be found in our journal. Everyone else is still hanging out around here. I don't know if we should take our time to try to speak with them, or if perhaps our main focus should be Ronaldo. Where, did it say checkbooks again? Because I thought it was only when we were looking at the uh, the book f of the book right there that it said checkbook. And when it's kind of finicky. This was Fall of the House of Usher. I didn't think there was anything any other time when it said checkbook. Uh, oh, hold on, right? Oh, another letter. Nah, Ronaldo was mad with grief. Ah, we found his letters. What will he say? We know all about you and your letters, Ronaldo. We're very judgmental, it seems. Okay, we believe Ronaldo's innocence, apparently. I guess. It seems like the other person that we mentioned anything down on our, our journal was the Major. I can't seem to actually say anything to him. Let me just go around one more time. Hmm. What is he so worried about? Well, I guess we're going to have to start looking around to see if we can find any clues. It seems that we've exhausted that well. I remember from the demo that we could look at this right here. But there is nothing we could do with it. Should we check the body? We did look at the body when we found it. Um, and the doctor said that he wanted to examine it. But he's still standing around. He hasn't done anything. So maybe we should go up, uh, up here ourselves. And... Oh! Mm-hmm. Let's listen in. They have a secret. Indeed. Miss Havisham apparently holds things over everyone. That old biddy. A newspaper clipping, you say? That article that was published in a, in a newspaper that many people saw, I guess, is a secret? So I guess no one actually knows that whoever was in that, uh, that newspaper article is her. I guess she wasn't known at the time. Oh, we can talk to Dr. John. 
Mm-hmm. The doctor and wife are wh whispering about a scap of paper. Let's find the scap. Oh, we can talk to her. <laughs> I'm sure you were. Yes, why are we sweating so much? And it doesn't look like we can... Does she have, does she have eyes? Kind of looks like they're just black pits in her face. It doesn't actually look like we can examine her. Oh, a photo of someone. Hmm, doesn't seem like there are any clues in there. Okay, we've spoken to, her, to them. Let's try going back down and seeing if anyone's moving around. Because the alternative is to search the house. And, uh... That's a lot of space to cover. Oh, that's right, I have to look at his chest. I forgot to talk to him. Mmm, yes. So we apparently can see how this works. We talk to someone and then that activates a flag and then we find an item and go back and talk. The locket, you say? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Actually, yeah, the way the game looks and the way it moves does kind of remind of D. There are no ghosts so far calling us to tell us to get out. Yes, what about this locket? I'm not saying it plays like D. I'm not saying it's as good as D. I'm just saying the way it looks and the way it moves kind of reminds me of it. Doesn't seem like we can do anything with him. What is the Lincoln's urgency about the locket? Hmm. Oh, there's the Major. He's moved into another room. Why would you want to walk in here, Major? Did the mustache tell you to come in here? The Major taking things into his own hands and calling the police. Duchess, eh? Was that... Was she, is this the Duchess? Yeah, the Duchess Anna. So far, this game is pretty, uh, directed. It seems to pretty much be telling us what we should be doing. Uh, the Major had a tragedy earlier in his life. The Thuggies... I imagine people called the thuggies would be would be criminals, yes. You're kind of cursed to be with that name, I guess. Hmm. It doesn't really seem like a reason to murder someone. The Duchess has re revealed Mayor, uh, Major Andrews' life. But why would the Major murder anyone over this information? That doesn't seem like that would be the case. Nope, still nothing there. But we did not, uh, we did not mention the obvious thing, that maybe the mustache did it. So 
spreading rumors and innuendo. So pretty much every time we talk to someone, we look at the journal. Hmm. Let's see if the Duchess has anything new to say about that. Oh no, it's, it's just this again. Yeah, we have to discover more about this locket. Now let's see... Here's where these two went off. Where might a locket be? Though you might not like it when I find it. Can I talk to her? Uh, okay, there we go. Game is very touchy about where you have to be standing to talk with her. Mm-hmm. What secrets might the locket hold? Uh, I don't think that changed anything. Oh, uh, sorry, you two. Let's look at this model. Nope, nothing changed about that. Check thing behind Major? Was there something the Major was standing in front of? Oh yeah, there's a book that back there. I don't think I can look at it. What? Uh, no. No, I can't. Alright, let's... Oh, what's this? Mm-hmm. Hexonical chess. For true geniuses. That doesn't seem to help us. Nah, that's just the same thing. Alright, so we've basically run out of leads unless we're able to find this, uh, this locket. Where could it have gone? Oh ho! A box of matches are gone! Surely this will help us crack the case. Yeah, we'll look upstairs. But first, let's have a look around in this... In this room here, since there's a number of shelves and... Stuff that we could potentially look at. Hmm, no, it doesn't look like that's actually anything that we need to look at. Nothing there. Let's head up. Oh, or we could actually go down, but let's go up first. Hmm. The stairs keep going up, so maybe there's a, a third floor we can go to. Very fancy window. And apparently nothing in here. Nope, still nothing. Yes, this is a rather large house. I mean, befitting of a woman of Miss Havisham's position. Her place in society. Of course she would be living in such a, a large house. And those two are still in there. Was this a door? No, I guess not. What's that? This should have more this should have less useless space and more space with actual clues. Are you doubting the game design behind murder for dinner? Are you saying that perhaps it's not optimal? That maybe things could have been done a little better? I don't know why you would... Why would you even think that? Okay, we're in an attic. Not too much in here. Hmm, a rocking horse, yes. The case is cracked. Yes, Jeremy Hartwood. 
Okay, so the when we found the matches, that was added. The matches being taken was added to John and Margaret. The doctor and wife were whispering about... Oh, the doctor and wife were whispering about a scrap of paper. Someone took the matches. Maybe to burn the paper? Maybe. And here's the locket. Why is the locket up here? It's just in a box in the attic for some reason. And crates. Empty crates. I don't know why you guys are trying to pretend that you're not currently immersed in the world of murder for dinner. Uh, these two are in a different place. Indeed I did. Well, I, I really don't know what that has to do with anything. Why did we need to find this... this locket? I think I must have missed why this is supposed to be important. Wait, what? The, the locket is your child who died? Oh, maybe there's a picture of her child in there. The death of their child is a scandal? Why would that be a scandal? Unless you killed the child. Could possibly be. Uh, let's see. Hmm... Why do the Lincolns keep mentioning the Duchess? Maybe we should talk to the Duchess. The Duchess is a gossip after all. Everyone is a suspect, dear Duchess. Yeah, there we go. See, we're all suspects. Except me, because we just got here, and Miss Havisham has been dead for hours. So, we're clear. You're not. Okay. Their odd behavior came from seeking the locket. I guess talk to them again. Oh, that busybody Duchess! The Duchess has no business speaking about them. I guess let's talk to the Duchess again, because that seems to be how this goes. What secrets do you hold in your past, Duchess? <laughs> oh, okay. You're just going to tell me that, huh? <laughs> you see, that one does make you a suspect, actually. You actually are a murderer. Oh, I guess this means she's actually innocent because if she told us this, she wouldn't actually hide anything else. So she's innocent because she's a murderer. <laughs> oh yeah, see it says right there in our journal, the Duchess is innocent. She murdered her husband so she did not murder, murder Miss Havisham. <laughs> that is how logic works, yes. Uh, we Our journal does not clear these two, however, so let's just talk to them one more time. Sure. You have our vote. It's only if you didn't murder Miss Havisham. If you did murder her, then maybe not. No, that hasn't changed yet. But at least we apparently cleared the Duchess. Um, okay. Mark Joseph has not been cleared. Actually, it seems that Mark Joseph is the only one on here. Well, the, Mark Joseph and the doctor and his wife seem to be the only one listed as suspects now. Well, Mark Joseph, what do you have to say? Can we talk to you, Mark Joseph? I don't think we can. It doesn't look like we can talk to Mark Joseph. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't seem so. But we have hit a half an hour, so I think we'll just take a short break, and then we'll be coming back, I guess, with more murder for dinner? I mean, it seems like we probably are pretty much at the end of... almost at the end of the game, I guess, if this journal is anything to go by. So let's come back in a little bit 
with murder for dinner and see if we can actually finish this in one night. I'll be right back. 